Okay, we're up to uh, John chapter 18. John chapter 18, when Jesus had spoken these words, he went forth with his disciples over the brook Kedron, where was a garden into the which he entered with his disciples. And Judas also, which betrayed him, knew the place, for Jesus oft times, in other words, often uh, resorted thither or went there with his disciples. And um, Judas then, having received a band of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, came thither, in other words, came there with lanterns and torches and weapons. Uh, Jesus, therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Whom seek ye? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. And Judas uh, also, which betrayed him, stood with them. As soon then as they had said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. How do you believe in Jesus? Everybody yeah. loves Jesus. Anyway, yeah. Just leave that there, mate. Can leave that there so can people can... Stick back? Sorry? Can I have the stick food thing back, please? Which stick food thing? The thing that I gave you, the beef. <laughs> Just don't worry, already has stuff. Well, thank you. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Phyllis. See ya. Yeah, so the Lord Jesus Christ is the one they wanted. See, they came uh, to get the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, they wanted... Um, the fact is, the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross for us, as we know, but the Lord Jesus Christ had to be crucified upon the cross. And so they had to come and get him in the Garden of Gethsemane. They came and got him, uh, arrested him basically, and took him and then uh, falsely accused him of sin. Of course, the Lord Jesus Christ cannot sin. There's no way. He's absolutely perfect. So the Lord Jesus Christ is the one that wants to save your soul uh, this afternoon. And he wants to do it right now because we're running out of time. We need to understand the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross for you and for me. And so he says here, I am, or I am he. Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. As soon then as he had said unto them, I am he, or I am, they went backward and fell to the ground. Uh, then asked he them again, Whom seek ye? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am, or I am he. If therefore ye seek me, let go, these go their way. In other words, he said, let the disciples go. You want me? Here I am, in other words. He didn't uh, put up a fight. He just went with them. He's led as a lamb to the uh, slaughter. The sheep before the shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. Yes, that the saying uh, might be fulfilled, which he spake of them which thou gavest me, have I lost none. Then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and smote the high priest's servant, in other words, uh, hit the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Then said Jesus unto Peter, Put up thy sword into the sheath. The cup which my father hath given me, shall I not drink it? Then the band and the captain and officers of the Jews took Jesus and bound him, and led him away to Annas first, for he was father-in-law to Caiaphas, which was the high priest that same year. Now Caiaphas was he which uh, gave counsel to the Jews that it was expedient that one man should die for the people. And Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. That disciple was known unto the high priest and went in with Jesus into the palace of the high priest. But Peter stood at the door without, then went out that other disciple which was known unto the high priest, and spake unto her that uh, kept the door, and brought in Peter. Then saith the damsel, that's a young girl, uh, that kept the door unto Peter, Art not thou also one of this man's disciples? He said, I am not. And the servants and officers stood there who had made a fire of coals, for it was cold, and they warmed themselves. And Peter stood with them and warmed himself. 
The high priest then asked Jesus of his disciples and of his doctrine. Jesus answered him, I spake openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple whither or where the Jews always, always resort. And in secret have I said nothing. Why askest thou me? Ask them which heard me what I have said unto them. Behold, they know what I said. And when he had thus spoken, one of the officers which stood by struck Jesus with the palm of his hand, saying, Answerest thou the high priest so? Jesus answered him, If I have spoken evil, bear witness of the evil. But if well, why smitest thou me? In other words, why did you hit me? If I, uh, you know, if I've spoken well. And of course, the Lord Jesus Christ always spoke good things. They said of the Lord Jesus Christ, never man spake like this man. There's no one like him. He's God in a body. God in the flesh. Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Now Annas had sent him bound unto Caiaphas, the high priest, and Simon Peter stood and warmed himself they said therefore unto him, Art not thou also one of his disciples? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest being the kinsman, in other words a relation of the one whose ear Peter cut off, said, Did not I see thee in the garden with him? Peter then denied again and immediately the cock crew. Then led they Jesus from Caiaphas unto the hall of judgment. And it was early, and they themselves went not into the judgment hall, lest they should be defiled, but that they might eat the Passover. Pilate then went out unto them and said, What accusation bring ye against this man? They answered and said unto him, If he were not a malefactor, in other words a criminal, we would not have given, delivered him unto thee. Then said Pilate unto them, Take ye him, and judge him according to your law. The Jews therefore said unto him, It is not lawful for us to put any man to death. That the saying of Jesus might be fulfilled, which he spake, signifying what death he should die. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again, and called Jesus and said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, Sayest thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell it thee of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now is my kingdom not from hence, in other words, not from here. Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born, and for this cause came I into the world that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Pilate said unto him, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews, and said unto them, I find in him no fault at all. How can anyone find any fault in God? This is another proof. Our Lord Jesus Christ is God. God in a body. Yes, Emmanuel, as I said earlier in the message, which being interpreted is God with us. God came down in the person of Jesus Christ. He was clothed with humanity. But we see Jesus, who was made a little low the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. He tasted death for you, my friend. The Lord Jesus Christ loved us unto death, even the death of the cross. The Lord Jesus Christ is able to save your soul. You have a soul that needs to be saved. If your soul is not saved, 
you'll end up dying and going down to hell. There's no point beating around the bush and I'm not going to do that because your soul is very precious unto the Lord. He wants to save your soul right now, my friend. The only way you can do that is if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Become a child of God. We are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Yes, Pilate said unto him, What is truth? And when he had uh, said this, he went out again unto the Jews and said unto them, I find in him no fault at all. But you have a custom that I should release unto you run at the Passover. Will you therefore that I release unto you the king of the Jews? Then cried they all again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. So they were going to let a robber free. He should have been punished for stealing things. They let him free, and they proceeded to take the Lord Jesus Christ that he might be crucified. Of course, this was in the will of God, in the determinate will and uh, the foreknowledge of God, that this would take place. He had to be crucified upon the cross, take our place on the cross, be crucified for you and for me. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and he was buried. But praise God, the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He's able to save your soul, and he wants to do that right now. Are you ready to meet God? Have you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ? Are you a child of God through faith alone in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ? We are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. He shed his precious blood for you and for me, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. How do you receive forgiveness? By coming in repentance toward God, as I've said. Change your mind. Agree with God that you are a sinner. Admit the fact that you're a sinner before God and then put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and God promises you everlasting life. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great night.